so many of the animals that we're meeting today have been with the Humane Society for really so many days and so many weeks and months. In fact, Bluto, uh, who we have here with Nina, who's been joining us this morning, has been here since August of last year. So that's already two dogs that we've met today that have been since all oh, Bluto. I will give you that shake. We've been here since the summer of last year. Yes, uh, the average length of stay for our dogs is more than 40 days, and some of our dogs have been with us for, you know, more than a year. And um, Bluto and Linus that you met earlier, you know, since last summer. So they stay with us for a long time, and that's really hard. And part of the issue, too, is that you, you were telling me that you, you guys have never been this overcrowded for this extended period of time, right? That's correct, yes. Right now we're about 120% capacity for dogs. We've been up touching 180%, so it's a little bit better. But anytime we're over capacity, that means we have more dogs than kennels and staff uh, and volunteers. Yeah. So, of course, that equates to less attention to each animal, but also it increases the risk for disease, for stress, for all, all the things that come with uh, staying in a shelter environment. And, and one of the things that, that recently you found out that thankfully it's, it's not here is that strep zoo, but you, you mentioned there that there's the chance of increased sickness and illness when you're, when you're having dogs, and that's part of the reason why you had to stop surrenders, but also the overcrowding, right? Absolutely, yeah. Anytime you have too many animals in a shelter setting, you run the, re the risk of disease. And we really need to protect our population that we have in our care right now. Of course, if it's an emergency, we are here to help. We are also here to help um, with stray animals, but we need the community's help so that we can take care of the population that we have currently. Um, we have um, so many resources for the community can help us. Yeah. You can rehome your pet on your own if you're looking to rehome. You can keep a stray pet in your home while we help you look for the owner. Uh, and of course, you can foster if yeah. you can't adopt. And for someone like Bluto, who's been here since August, we've been giving him his shine. He deserves to find his forever home. He is playful. He's a leaner, too, we noticed. Yeah. <laughs> He's a leaner, and that's why we're sitting down, because he just loves to sit and lean. He's so smart. He knows how to sit. He knows how to shake. He's just the most handsome four-year-old boxer mix who would love to go to a family where he can play fetch and yeah. just just lean on you. <laughs> yeah, very much, very, very much a leaner. And don't let that kind of like uh, that sort of demeanor fool you right now because he will love to run. You can tell with that wiry body, right? He loves to get out for a good run there. So thank you, Nina, so much. And coming up in just a, just about an hour time here over on the CW, we're going to be talking about the kitten shower that y'all will be throwing because as we start to get into these warmer months, we begin to get into kitten season and we begin to see a lot of kittens showing up here at the San Diego Humane Society. Supplies are needed and so that's what we'll be talking about over on the CW. So we hope that you guys join us over there to talk a little bit more about how you can help with that. All right. Eric yeah. yeah, did you see Pluto's ears? They oh, were yeah. like going forward. So yes. cute. And the way his paw was on your hand, Chris, that was so sweet. Like, help me, Chris. He's help like, me find Please, a new home. Good old shake. Me. Getting the word out He's there. Good at the Look, he there shakes. There we go. Oh, look at that oh, my cutie. Goodness. Somebody take him. Please. <laughs> and I Those mean, eyes. the fact that he's a boxer, <laughs> yeah. too. They're such amazing dogs. Beautiful pooch. They play, they love. Thank you, Chris. Thank you, Chris. Oh. <laughs> Thanks, guys.